CBS 5 News. About what real strength and determination is all about. I had two choices. I could stay in bed until I died, or I could get up and get living again. A bullet almost killed her. Doctors said she'd never walk again. Tonight, our cameras are there as this valley woman you just saw defies even her own expectations. Perhaps you've heard the quote, strength doesn't come from physical capacity. It comes from an indomitable will. Tonight, meet a valley woman who's discovered both. A five-year journey to reclaim her life is about to get even greater with the two most important steps of her life. Hello, this is 911. I've been shot. Where are you shot on your body? I don't know. I cannot move. I'm dying and I can't breathe anymore. Somebody help me. I'm dying. Jennifer Longdon made that call from inside this red truck. She didn't see who fired the five shots. She didn't even know where one of the bullets hit her. But in those moments, she told anyone close enough to hear, Tell my son I love him. You really thought you were going to die? I actually did die that night. I coded, I believe, more than once that night, and I wasn't expected to live. She woke up to a doctor in the hospital. He said, you know, you were shot, you have a spinal cord injury at this level, and you're paralyzed, you're never going to walk again. Clearly, he had no clue who he was dealing with. The average woman, probably 25. And I routinely do 25. 65. Yeah. Five years later, Lifting, pressing, building upper body strength. The physical strength she relies on to push her wheelchair three miles a day. Last year, it helped her push her way through the P.F. Chang's half marathon. 13.1 miles in this same standard wheelchair. That's like running the race on her hands. Every time... I've gotten to a place where it's like, I can't go another second, I can't go another inch, I can't do anything more, I can't take anything more. I found out I could. One, two, three. And she's about to find out she's capable of even more than anyone thought. How can something so incredibly ugly be so beautiful? These are custom braces that will help her do something she hasn't done in five years. It's a good thing you're strong, guys. <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay. I get choked up just thinking that it might happen. You push, I'll do it. One, two, two three. three. Okay. <laughs> there we go, guys. Awesome. With her hands okay, steady on the bars and several minutes to find her center <laughs> of gravity. The first two small but amazing steps. That was fantastic. How are your ears? Are they bleeding? Uh, <laughs> Worth the wait? Yeah. I did that. <laughs> it is marathons away from where I was. Marathons. When I made that call, I didn't think I'd be taking another breath let alone ever taking another step. Which is why she's working even harder now, so that come January, she'll push herself two steps further, literally. I'm going to take two steps, and so I want them to be over the finish line. I am paralyzed for now. Medical science does not have an answer for me now. But I'm still taking two steps in a couple of months. That's not supposed to be possible. Jennifer's strength is more than just a story to me. You see, oh God, I'm gonna get emotional, sorry. Complications during the birth of my daughter 13 years ago left me paralyzed and in a wheelchair for a month. Now I run marathons and I run because I can and for those who can't. This January, I'm gonna run in Jennifer's honor, excuse me, I'm so sorry, to help raise funds and pay it forward to a planned sports and fitness center you see here in Phoenix for persons with disabilities. Please help me help others. This right here is my fundraising page right here. You can find a link to it on kpho.com. Just click on Saw It on CBS 5 News.